Hi there, if you've watched my last video on my Chanel mini square unboxing, you know that this video will be about what I can fit in this little bag. Part of the fun of having a mini bag is seeing how much you can downsize, just how bare bones I can make my essential items. If you haven't seen my last video, please do check it out. Um, in it, I do obviously the unboxing and I also talk about why I chose lambskin instead of caviar. While you're there, subscribe, click the bell icon, like and comment. Okay, onto this. I'm gonna put up the dimensions of the bag here. Um, yeah, you can find this information anywhere really, but that's how big the bag is. Now we'll physically see what can fit inside. So I have got my phone. I feel like these days nobody goes out without their phone. So this is my phone. It's an iPhone XR. And the second thing would be my card holder. This is a very bare bones card holder. There's not even a zip. All it fits is three cards here, two cards here, and some cash. Maybe like a card that I don't use frequently. I don't want to put any cards that's not my essentials in the front two pockets because that will stretch it out. My third essential would be my house keys. I used to have this plastic key ring tag, but I removed it. It was just a tag from some random plumbing company. And also it had kind of sharp edges, so I didn't really want that going into my bags. But here it is now. I realized that I don't really have a small leather good that I can use to hold my keys or coins or anything. I think I'm gonna be needing a pouch or coin purse in the future. But for now, uh, let's use this. So this is just a fabric kind of little pouch. In goes the keys. I'm also going to put my car keys in here. I don't always carry my car keys when I go out. Sometimes I take public transport, especially when I'm going to the city, but let's just put it in there to see uh, how much the bag can hold. So in it goes. With these three items in there, there's still a fair bit of space. So I'm going to be putting a lipstick. I love how this lipstick matches the color scheme of the bag. It's black with light gold hardware. Um, I just thought that was really neat. And yeah, with everything like this, there's still a little bit of space at the top. Because it's a square, it's a little bit taller than the mini rectangle. So I think if you have the mini rectangle, you might not have this extra space at the top, but you would have some extra space at the side. I would say that those are my bare, bare, bare bones essentials. And as you can see, um, it closes perfectly. There's no strain whatsoever. Now let's see what else we might want to put in there. I think for me, the next tier of essentials would be hand sanitizer and a compact. I'm going to put the hand sanitizer kind of diagonally. So it fits, but it is starting to get a little full. Um, let me just close that up. It still does fit, but it definitely is a bit fuller than what it was before. I think something to consider is that nowadays, considering that it's been a good year of this uh, situation now, lots of places in public actually does have free sanitizer widely available. So you could take out the hand sanitizer, just rely on the ones you find in shopping centers or at restaurants. Also, I know that a lot of my friends carry hand sanitizers in their bags. So if they don't have a bag that's as mini as yours, um, you could probably count on them having one. And maybe you could ask for a little bit. The compact, I would say, um, the necessity of it depends on how oily you might be and the temperature where you're at and how long you're going to be out. If you're going to be out for maybe the whole day, it could be essential to touch up your makeup. I have the MAC Studio Fix in NC20 and it comes with a mirror, which is actually quite useful. But if you're just going to be out for a few hours or if you don't wear makeup, like this is completely unnecessary. There's one other thing that I have to take into consideration these days and that's my camera. Um, obviously, I'm filming with it right now so I can't take it out but um, I have one of the cases that I have for it. It's a little bit bigger than the camera itself but you get a rough idea of how big it is so I'm going to be trying to put that in. Ever since I started this YouTube thing the camera is like just this new item in my arsenal. And I mean, most of my videos are filmed at home, so I don't really have to carry my camera anywhere, but I would like to maybe start getting into vlogging soon. Um, let me know what you would think of that, by the way. So if I do do that, I'm gonna need to take my camera out. 
I don't know whether this bag can accommodate a camera. Anyway, um, I just took out my car keys because yeah, I don't always use my car keys. That is the bag with just the camera case in it. Um, I'm gonna put in my keys. Wait, no, card holder first. So theoretically the camera would fit, but there's no room for my phone. So I'd have to carry my phone in my pocket or have it on the table or just be carrying it. I tried it out with this camera without the case and it fit okay if I didn't have my phone in it. But there's two things to consider. One, I'm not sure I'm comfortable having my camera without a case. And two, what if I don't wanna be holding my phone? Verdict is, Minus the camera, all my other essentials fit pretty well in this square mini. It's only been less than a week since I received this, so I haven't taken it out yet. I want the first time I take it out to be special. I'm thinking Valentine's Day. Um, after all, this was a Valentine's Day present. I also want to buy a bag insert for this. I mean, I know it's already a mini bag, but um, I don't know how I feel about having my items touching the direct lining of the inside because unlike most of my other bags, this is uh, lined with the lambskin material instead of fabric lined. So I do want to protect it to the best of my ability. I haven't 100% decided on which bag insert I'm going to go with, but I will be making a video on that. So please stay tuned. Yeah, that was the end of the video. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you give me a like and a subscribe and comment down below. What do you think of this almost Tetris style way of packing mini bags? I think it's fun. I'm usually not such a huge fan of carrot, but lately I feel like I'm more open to it and it does have a nice crunch and it's really good for you. So yeah, kids, eat your carrots or if you don't like carrots, eat your veggies and also follow me on Instagram at Sally in Wonderland.